Correction Board meeting Thursday at noon. Uh, humane shelter. I noticed there was nothing for claims again for last month, so uh, I would like to put two on where I will not vote for their payment if we don't get an itemized expense list. Sure. Oh, I think they're really? supposed to. I think it's. We've asked them and asked them, and all they do is send how many dogs they caught and the price per dog, but they got to have more expenses than just picking up dogs. Then I'm confused. I'm sorry. I'm confused. Then. I thought by itemized bill, before we pay them, we have to know how many animals they picked up and where they got them from. And I would like to know salary. Utility. I would like to know all Well, that that's fine, know. and that's good information. I just didn't know we were expecting that from them. I don't think there's any doubt if we ask them that they'll do it, but but I didn't know that. I just yeah. thought we wanted to. So you're saying what we need is, is a monthly profit itemized list. Profit loss. Or uh, that's what I'm thinking. Balance sheet, profit and loss yeah. from them every month. Okay. Just an okay. itemized list. Where are you going? Make that a motion. I did. Okay, I'll second a motion to second. <laughs> Discussion? All those in favor raise your right hand. Opposed the same. Do you want to get a hold of Lindsay then? Yeah, I'd be glad to. Yeah, I'd be glad to. Yeah. So you're going to ask her, because what we're getting to pay the bills is okay, but you want to see a little bit more. And I think we had asked for that before. We, we did in the big, we did when we were working with them. Working. We wanted to see where what your budget was for the year. Where the money's money being spent, so yeah, sure. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. All right. Mr. Amber. Yes, sir. Um, I, I, I just want to explain to you where we are with ADA, and um, uh, I think we're moving along great. I, I don't have it in the form of a checklist, but I will tell you that the Whitley County Transition Plan, which is what, which is what we're supposed to have, is now online at WhitleyGov.com, and it can be looked at. And um, we ask for comments through June the 30th. It'll be up from June 1 to June 30th. Uh, so I think I, I, I want to thank Holly for doing all the typing for me. Um, we took her to Pizza Hut, though. When you get a teenager, that's good enough right there. That's, that's a good thing. Take him to Pizza Hut. So. Um, now I know we I know we've not dealt with this, but I'm going to ask again for sixty-seven hundred and sixty-five dollars for uh, first group engineering to come in and assess Lincoln Point and Donatello Village. Uh, that that will make our and, and and come up with a deficiency sheet on both of those places. And that will make our plan complete at that point. Donatello Village, what was that one? Lincoln Point. Or, or a better way to put it was we have to look at every unincorporated area of the county that has sidewalks, traffic, uh, yeah, uh, pedestrian signals, and um, access ramps. As it turns out, those are the only two places in unincorporated. Whitley County that that would meet those requirements. Um, we don't have to go and fix them, not now. We do have to eventually work with a budget to go in and fix them. But we we need them on our on our assessment list. Um, so I first group has notified me originally they they wanted to, to get the job done. They they're going to dovetail us in with Allen County. And we're going to have Allen County done by the end of June, but now they switched Allen County. Allen County has to be done at the end of July, so this proposed fee is still good through then. So that's all I'm asking out of our consultant's fee is to, is to do the identify the barriers and cost upgrade. And, and is that all they're going to do for the 67-65? Will we yeah. get a report? Um, yeah, the deficiency list. But they're not going to do the report for our report, though. Don't really make a report. It just goes in the plan. It just becomes a part of the plan. Uh -huh. So nothing is done money-wise besides the 
some hundred dollars, but we don't have to fix anything even if it's deficient, deficient unless someone complains. Yeah. Is that what directs uh, then us you to do to with ADA? You do base everything you do on complaints. That is correct. There is no ADA police department that drives around to see what you're doing. It's all complaint driven. Now, where and and, and here's the gamble. And I and, and I'm fine if you don't if you if you're not concerned about it. The gamble is if if we don't have this up, up to snuff. The, they could not give us, they might not give us federal aid projects for roads. Well, I'm not really aware that we have any federal aid projects for roads going on right now, or even in the near future. So, so that's a total gamble uh, that maybe we don't need. It's possible. So, well, I, you know, I feel confident that we need this report. All I can look at, Don, is they're going to look at each street corner and see it. is there a, a ramp, a, a ramp on the street corner. You're absolutely right. And is it correct? And is it correct? Yeah, you know. $6,700. I don't disagree. I just have a rough and, time. And, I, you know, and I've already, I've already asked, I mean, I, obviously I've asked Michael and, and Brandon about it, and, and they don't feel like they're capable of making that decision based on the ADA. Now, let me tell you what I've learned. You know the little the little things that are kind of orange? And, mm -hmm. You know what those are called? Truncated domes. Truncated, Truncated domes. I'm telling you, I'm learning here as we're going along with this thing. But, uh, but if Tom is in a wheelchair, okay, say Tom's in a wheelchair, and he lives in one a couple of, days away. Couple days away. And he lives in Lincoln Point, and he complains because he can't get his wheelchair down in the street to go over to George's house. Then we have... He's on a walker. <laughs> yeah, he's on a walker. With tennis balls. <laughs> <laughs> and he lives there five years, but he complains, so we have to spend the money to make it compatible, ADA... We, might. Change it. we don't have to unless we want federal funding for any kind of project, whether it's a bridge uh, or well, no, 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 wait a minute. Let's stop. Let's stay with what she's saying. If okay. if they if they file a complaint, we, have we might have to pay to have that done. Oh, and then two years later, Tom says, "I don't like living in Lincoln Point anymore. I'm going to move to Donatello Village." And then he's still in the wheelchair, and he gets out there, and he doesn't can't get to the curb again. We have to fix his side of the street just to make it to wherever he moves because he's in a wheelchair. I don't know. My biggest problem is, and I'm not sure about out not here, not it, my, my problem is I know Donatello Village, and that's a private uh, housing addition. Why, why should we spend county taxpayers' money for Don Giamatti or Diamanti, whatever his name yeah. is, out there to fix something that he had installed, which is not right. right. But I just, I just can't see why the county meet. And really, for them to go in, I think we need to notify him and get permission that we're doing it. Well, what Dan Weagle said, I don't know. For the simple fact that we go in and we do the snow plowing of it, and we take up care of the roads there. We have, we have accepted that responsibility. But can um, we tell them from now on, if you're going to put a housing addition in any unincorporated area, you need to make sure that every street sidewalk is ADA you, when you go you don't to have, You don't have to tell them because that's the law. Oh, it's the law. That's the law. When, when Patty built the fire station, Everything she, she couldn't make some kind of decision about, do I need truncated domes here? No, you need them. You got to have them. So that's the law. But, but what happens with the subdivisions is, I know we primarily deal with the roads. We'll, if you want to put a subdivision in, then Whitley County Highway Department, Whitley County Government has the right to tell you how you're going to build that road. And if you don't build it, we don't accept it. True. But once we accept that responsibility of maintaining the streets, my guess is we maintain the, the responsibility of 
Well, I have no mean. problem with going in and plowing snow because those people pay taxes. Right? Yeah. But where I get to the problem is, and all those are on private wells. They have no, no individual water main that goes down through there. But where they come in, they buy a lot. They be in the people. They have the sidewalk. I just can't see where we're liable to go in to make each corner a handicap ramp up there. To have them cut, because that's what you're going to get to. Yeah. As soon as you do one corner, whether yeah. handicap or not, a lot of people say, well, I'm just walking. It's easier for me to walk down that ramp than step off of a four or five inch curve. So that is my, I, in, in, in I don't know if it takes that much money to have somebody come in and count how many corners there are that the cement is going to have to be cut and a ramp to put in there. But, then, but, but we've got a county engineer that says he can't do it. And a highway well, he ramp. can't or he doesn't want to. Well, I'll you know, that. it's kind of different between need and want. I've got no argument with everything you're saying other than one of the, one of the meetings I attended uh, I'm, I'm going to have to paraphrase. I don't remember the exact okay. quote. No problem. Over in Cherubusco, a year or so ago, Cherubusco looked at their sidewalks and sent notices to the people saying, you've got to fix your sidewalk. Uh, or, or we're going to fix it and you're going to pay half of the cost. Okay? That happened. Now I got this meeting not very long ago, and they said, the towns and cities and, and, and counties can tell people, they can threaten people, but they can't make people pay for those costs because you accept the sidewalks. As a municipality, you accept them and you have to take and maintain them. So I thought, oh boy, if the people in Cherubusco heard that, they would, they would have a cap. But uh, Katie's gone, Brett's gone, everybody's gone. So. But that's, that was in a meeting that I just attended. <laughs> and, and fellas, I'm, I don't really do care. We have to, just, back to budget, because you know, it is that season. Do we have to, to comply with the Whitley County transition plan? Do we have to spend an X amount of dollar every year to show some compliance? No. You have to show that you're reviewing the plan every year. And we and, have an administrator. And, and, and what, and what administrator. That, that is my job. Every year I have to make an annual report of where we're at in the project. And you can have $100,000 work to do in Donatello Village, and all you have to have is, is documented you need this work and on this sheet and that, and that uh, a statement that you don't have the money to budget for it in 2014. So okay. that's, that's guess, the way it was explained to me. I guess my thought on this whole thing is that um, I would like to make a motion that we approve this with, with the stipulation that we checked with Brandon again, and it isn't a situation that he just doesn't want to do it, that he can't do it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is that? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that housing developer is notified. Right. I want that in your motion. Okay. And that uh, the developer is and who, and, and who, oh, oh yeah, well, I would need the names really in both places. I, right. I don't know exactly who. Uh, well, Lincoln. we can get that. So, so when the sidewalks fall apart in Donatello's village and the, and the folks that live there want new sidewalks, whose job is that? Who pays for that? I homeowner should. Yeah. Okay, we're, so we're, just taking, we we're really just taking now? the roads. We're we're accepting the roads, not the sidewalks. Not the sidewalks. These are sidewalks. I, I'm sorry. I, I have I have a different viewpoint on it. Really? I'm boarding. You know the best thing to do is get cop back here. Because I say I say by what I was told at at, at an in dot meeting. Those side, once we accept them, those sidewalks are ours and we have to maintain them. So but how much did you accept? Just the roads or the sidewalks? Roads and sidewalks. Easy. Easy. Roads and sidewalks. But we don't shovel their sidewalks. No, I understand. I, I, <laughs> I would saying. like, that. I think the, the point here is maybe we don't know and we need to find out. I think that's the whole point, okay. quite frankly. 
So. Who maintains sidewalks in those two? And is Lincoln Point the same way? Is it? A, I mean, I don't. I know where it is, but I don't know anything about it. Is it a private subdivision as well? Y yes. Yeah. But it was built. It, it, if you go there, it probably is okay because it was built after the ADA came along. So I bet you anything, if you went to Lincoln Point, you know where it's at? Across from City Across Ford, from, City Chevrolet, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. I think if you drove through there, you'd probably find they have the, the, the truncated domes and the ramps and everything. I think that's... Okay. They do. My mom lives out there. Okay. She drives yeah. a car. She has a Uh, can somebody help me with who, who's in charge of those subdivisions so I can call? Don Diamante at Donatello Village, I believe. D-I-A-M-E-N-T-E? -E. Something like that. And did he <laughs> live there or is he just... He is a developer of it. I don't know if he lives there. Okay. Probably David Diamante. It's right across the tracks from the sewer. Before you get to the nursing yeah. home at 14. Okay. All right. Well, as I as I said or tried to say, we bought a little more time here, so so let let me work on that That's for the next part. Thing. Yep. Yep. I wanted to give that report. The other report I want to give is well, there's a motion on the floor. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna withdraw the motion and table and ask okay. to table this. Okay. Before uh, you get off that, I'm gonna one of the things that might have a bearing on what Don is saying about the county acceptance, does the county planning commission or the ordinances requiring sidewalks be installed in new subdivisions? I, I, my answer is yes. I, I'll, I'll double check. But, but that that's, how it, have that's a how it starts. Yeah. That, well, if you're going to build this subdivision, right. you're going to build a road with this much base, this much asphalt, and you're going to put in sidewalks, and they're going to they're going to be ADA approved. And, and that probably that kind of is why, when you accept the roads, you accept the sidewalks. Well, I will de ask Dave Sewell. <laughs> this is how we all learn. We just make your life more miserable. That's all. <laughs> the only thing I wanted to mention is uh, tomorrow. I've started up the binder for the. SDI and the road thing, and I'm meeting tomorrow with um, Doug Resevens and Jim Yaden down here in room C, uh, while the county council meeting is going on, um, to, to review some of the things that we're, we're coming up with. So, progress there, I would say. It, I, I'm just going to go, I want to go back to this Eagle thing. I know you and I talked about it. Uh, basically modular jail cells, um, if we're at all interested, if we even think we're interested, I sure hope we would look at uh, Whitley Manufacturing to, to look at that program too. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you had to spend the money, you could spend it right here in the county? Wow, that'd be great. That's it, sir, thank you. That's Tom. Okay, we'll adjourn the meeting at 336.